Hello aspiring modelers. This is video 9 in the tutorial series GMAX 1.2 for the beginning modeler. Today our focus will be building the fuselage. This will be part 1. So our objective today is to create the basic fuselage shape using splines, which we talked about in an earlier uh, video. Hi, my name is Milton Shoup, and it's time to build an aircraft. So let's get started. Uh, in the previous video, we completed setting up our calibration box and applying our three view textures to it. So with that all validated and proven, uh, we're ready to create some geometry. So uh, as an as a uh, focus point as to where we're going today, you'll see on the screen where I have created the necessary geometry to shape the fuselage against the cross sections shown on the three views. So what we're going to do today is start where we picked up, or start where we left off last video, and position this uh, three view in place, and then start using uh, splines, circles, to uh, and drawing them to match up with uh, these cross sections, and then get them in the position to actually uh, shape the fuselage on the y-axis here. So with that said, let's get this stuff out of the way by uh, deleting what I, the work I've done here. And let me just unfreeze that and delete it. And we'll get started. Let's unhide the calibration box that we created in the last uh, video. Box one. Here we go. So now that we have this in place, what we need to do um, is select either the bottom or the top, and we're, we're going to rotate this up so that we can build <clears throat> from these cross sections on a vertical plane so that once we build them, we don't have to rotate them all. So we're gonna, going to go up to modify here, and um, we're going to clone this box so we can uh, hide the original. And then come up to here and hide unselected, which would be the original box. So now we have box two here that we're going to use to uh, to uh, I'm sorry brain fade there. <clears throat> we're going to collapse that stack so that we can now select the poly that we want. This bottom, make sure I got the bottom here, <clears throat> and uh, use that to uh, rotate and draw against. <clears throat> so now that we've got the bottom selected, we're going to a side view here, left view, and we're just going to go up to edit and select invert, which means all the polys that aren't currently selected. And I'm going to delete those polys and the isolated vertices. So what we have left now is just the bottom of this. And what we want to do is rotate this up so that we can build facing the front the, uh, the cross sections that are going to make up our fuselage. So let's, before we rotate that, let's uh, center the pivot since it's was before with the box. Let's get it right on there. And then let's just rotate this on the x-axis uh, this way, 90 degrees, if you check the x-axis below. We're going to roll up to 90 degrees here. All right. And then we're going to move this back behind. Oops, wrong. We're going to move this back behind the x-axis because uh, whenever we build something new, it's going to show up on the x-axis. So let's go to the front viewport by hitting the K. Hit the, excuse me, hit the E, e key to, uh, to zoom in. And now we want to move <coughs> this poly so that these cross sections, center lines or crosshairs, are up on the 
GMAX Universe Crosshair. I'm going to just move this up. Let me get in a little closer here so I can get it pretty close to perfect. Doesn't have to be right on, but it's a good reference. Okay, so we have that positioned and we're ready to go to work creating these things. But before we do that, let's uh, freeze this object so we can keep it in view but not be able to select it. So before you freeze, you have to come down under display properties. And this is a default option, show frozen and gray. We want to deselect that. And then we want to freeze it. That way it doesn't go gray on us. We won't be able to see what we're looking at. All right. So now we have the cross sections ready and we're ready to create some geometry. So let's zoom in on the A circle here, the front of the fuselage. Maybe just to put that into perspective, let's go back and unhide, uh, unhide by name. Get that out of the way. Unhide by name. The uh, calibration box. And what we're doing now, let's go to left viewport, <clears throat> are building the cross sections that go here, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. Those are the cross sections being referenced here, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. Okay, so that's just what we're doing. So back to K on the front viewport, K for the front viewport, and let's just start creating the geometry here, or the <laughs> DNA for the geometry. So remember how we did uh, create in the create command panel? <clears throat> we want to create in the spline subsection, we want to create in this case circles because if you uh, hadn't noticed, all the fuselage cross sections are circular. There's some variance to that, but we'll get to that and how to deal with it. So we're just going to select circle here and we're going to go up and kind of get in the center of this uh, vertical line here and on the crosshairs we're just going to create by clicking and dragging the circle and then we're going to position it so we can assess how close we are to the size we want needs to go up a little bit more and you can come over to uh, the radius here on the right crank this up a little bit let's try 10 no more than that let's try 15 a little more than that 19 How about 22 Oops, I blew that, didn't I? We'll probably go another one. Okay, that's, uh, that's pretty close. Pretty close. Maybe a little smidge large, but we'll drop it back to 30. Alright, good. And we're good to go on that one. So we'll slide over to the next one. Oops, we want to give this a name before we run off and leave it. Let's call this let's call this the A circle. That's the cross section position we're in. The A circle. Press enter and that one's that takes. Now let's create the next one. <coughs> and circle. Come here to the crosshairs roughly. You can always reposition these once we get there. Alright, that's pretty close. 694. That's pretty good right there. 694. Okay. So we've got that one done. I believe, let's just double check here. We need to uh, obviously change the name of this to the B circle, so we'll need to do that before we leave here. I'm not sure if the C circle is the same size, but once you get crossed here from doing it before, I think these circles began the same size. Let's just try cloning that and call it the C circle and see if it is. If not, we'll just create another one. Yeah, looks pretty good to me. OK, 
Good. So let's just clone that and go to the D circle. You may not have noticed, but this three view is just slightly tilted, maybe a tenth or two tenths of a degree. You can see the three view horizontal line here is a little above, but as you get over to the other side, it's right on and then it goes the other way. So we'll just leave it where it is. That's fine. We're on the we're on the GMAX horizontal line here. So let's clone that one and uh, call it. Did we rename the other one? Cancel. We didn't rename that to D circle. All right. Press enter and that takes. And we'll go for an E circle here. See if that'll fit. Give it a name of E circle. Press enter for that to take. And move that over here. They look like they're running a little high, but they're the right size. Now, is this F the same? Could it be? Reselect there. I missed it. We'll try it. F circle. And yes, it's good. Let's see. 11 minutes. Good. All right. So now this circle is smaller, and that one is smaller. So we're going to draw this, the next circle. Did I name that one? F circle did. Okay. Next circle is is a little bit different. Notice that uh, the center of the uh, widest part is now a little higher, but so we're going to jump up here to try to get right on that and create this shape. And just try to match it up on the sides, not the top. All right, let's see what we get there. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty darn, pretty darn good. All right, that's good. And we'll deal with this later once we get the mesh in place that we need. Okay, and we'll call this the G circle. See how easy this is. Press enter for that to take. And then let's draw the final one here. We'll get somewhere in the middle of this widest part here. And boom, that's pretty good. Now you can you know, go in and tweak these a little bit. I don't think it's necessary for what we're doing right now, but uh, you know this could probably go one or two hundredths larger, but we're talking about smidgens here. So, so okay, we've got that in place. So let's... Uh, Change the name here to what is that? F H H circle. Let's give that an H circle. Okay, we now have the uh, building blocks of this fuselage, and let's just select them all so you can see them. Now, I haven't done these two, and we can go ahead and do those. I suppose that's going to be part of the canopy. Why don't we just do that while we're here? So let's step in here. Let's. Uh, Create a circle. Let's go to the widest part here, about right here. And well, just get the sides out there where they need to be. I'm not exactly centered on this, but it's because the drawing is off slightly, actually. So let's pull this down. Need how that works, huh? Now I could move this to the right a little bit and get on it, but that arc is just a little bit off center, so we're going to leave it right there. Well, I guess we ought to name that, huh? Let's, because this is uh, this is uh, D, let's call it uh, the D top circle, if you will. D top circle. Press enter. All right, let's go do the uh, back of the canopy here. And circle. It's going to be about down here somewhere. Alrighty, that looks about right. That's That one's a little bit off, too. I don't know. Either that or I am. I don't know. <coughs> Alright, we'll call this... What is that? The F? The E. The E top circle. Okay, 
Now we have all the geometry in place. Alright, so the next thing we want to do <coughs> is to ensure that our pivots on all of these things are centered to each of those objects and align the world. Okay, so we do that. We can do that particular thing as a command, uh, as a group command. So that works just fine. Now that we have all the circles in place, we have all the pivots set. <coughs> Guess what's next? We're going to select the select and move, and we're going to position all of these right on the the uh, y uh, center line coordinate. Once we press tab boom there they are so now what we have is your wife's biggest dream beautiful multicolored necklace for your spousal unit wouldn't she just love that <laughs> and what we also have if you go to K front front and then zoom in is our fuselage shapes and uh, zoom in a little bit more you'll see that there's actually several of them here but uh, which is back in the area where the fuselage shape is all the same size so you can't actually see them very well so but now that we have all those shapes on the uh, Y line perfectly the next thing we're going to do is unhide the calibration box we built Go to the left viewport, deselect off of those. Go to the left viewport. Now we're going to move each of those circles to where they belong on the uh, <coughs> on the uh, y-axis. And I'm going to start this process, and then I'm going to have to uh, stop the video and start a new one because I'm running short on time here. So we're going to grab that A circle, and we're going to move it down to the A position. We're going to do the same right on down the line, the B circle. And we're going to move it down to the B. Okay, you're getting the sense of this. I know you are. Okay, I'm at uh, 1730. I can probably do one or two more here. Circle, the C circle. Moving it down to the C line. And the D circle. We'll move the D top as well. We'll move both of those down to D. That's the front part of the fuselage canopy. And I'm at about at the end here. So we're going to pause this for a minute and be right back with the next.